Hello everyone. With all the recent press excitement caused by Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic by sending their founders to space, China has been quietly building a new space station orbiting Earth. In today's video, we're going to brief you on what China has accomplished so far on the Tiagong, which stands for Heavenly Palace Space Station, and discuss their future plans and time frame. Welcome to Reaching for the Moon, hosted by me, Ed Grace. Using the Long March 5 rocket, the first module of China's orbiting Tiagong Space Station, which is named the Tianhe, which stands for Heavenly River, is the core living module of the space station. It was placed in orbit recently. The Long March 5 is the largest rocket that China has used for their space program. The Long March 5 has four boosters mounted around it, as can be seen in this image. The Tianhe-1 core module contains everything needed to keep the Chinese astronauts, which are referred to as taikonauts, alive in space. This includes life support systems, a kitchen, sleeping and sanitation areas, electrical power management, and firefighting equipment. To help sustain the three Chinese taikonauts on their six-day working week, the kitchen is currently well-stocked with over 120 different types of food. The Tianhe-1 core module is also equipped with multiple docking ports, which is going to enable future spacecraft modules, including crew and robotic cargo resupply capsules to dock at the space station. In addition to the core module, China has sent up two other missions. The first was the Tianzhu-2 cargo ship, which contains supplies and equipment needed for the orbiting space station. There's, this is an image of the Long March 5 on the launch pad prior to sending the Tianzhu-2 cargo ship on its mission. On June 17, 2021, the Shenzhou-12 spacecraft with three taikonauts aboard docked with the Tiagong space station about six hours after taking off from the Zhiquan launch center on the edge of the Gobi Desert. China's first crew to the Tiagong space station unpacked the Tianzhan Hu 2 cargo supply spacecraft once they were docked. The crew is going to carry out experiments, test equipment, conduct maintenance, and prepare the station for receiving two laboratory modules, which are scheduled to arrive next year. The three taikonauts are also configuring the Tiagong spacecraft for future crews. This is an image of the inside of the Tiagong space station. Here is one of the Tiagong astronauts eating an apple. Finally, the three taikonauts are shown while conducting an interview with the Chinese ground control. China has a very aggressive plan to have the space station completed by 2022. The space station was going to be six times larger than any other space station that China has previously built. It will also be the fourth largest space station built behind the International Space Station and the Mir space stations. This is what the space station is going to look like upon completion. To support all this activity, China has built a new launch site called Wenchang Launch Site. There's going to be a total of 11 missions needed to complete China's Tiagong Space Station. Three missions have been launched so far, and the remaining eight missions are all scheduled for late 2021 and 2022. As comparison, it took more than 30 missions spread over 10 years to build the International Space Station, which, by the way, is only planned to be operational through 2024. Unlike the International Space Station, where the bulk of electrical power to all modules is supplied by large solar arrays on specially built gantries, each module on the Tiagong has its own solar array to provide power for that module. Recently, there were 11 astronauts aboard the International Space Station and three Chinese 
astronauts aboard the Chinese space station. That makes for a total of 14 astronauts in space at the same time. So far, that's the most astronauts in space that we've had here from Earth. But I can assure you that the number will probably increase in the not too far distant future. We're going to continue to provide updates on the progress that China makes in completing the Tiagong space station. Already, nine different countries have expressed interest in using the Tiagong space station to conduct research experiments. It's a very exciting time in space exploration. Well, that brings us to the end of our Chinese Tiagong space station update discussion today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a like. Hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. Thank you for watching. Remember always, failure is not an option. Bye.